Let's take a look at the capabilities of Infinium's arbitrary waveform generator editing tool, an optional feature on our next generation Infinium EXR and MXR series oscilloscopes. Infinium's arbitrary waveform generator, or AWG, has a nifty editing tool built right in. So let's take a look at what it can do to help with your testing. First, we'll want to load some data into the AWG, which offers over 61,000 points of memory. We'll do this under Setup, Waveform Generator, then select Arbitrary as our type. We can then select Edit. We'll review this entire dialog shortly, but let's start with the Import Export tool at the bottom. In the Import tab, we can import from a file or from a channel of the oscilloscope. The file type is simply a CSV, with each line being a data point consisting of a time and a voltage separated by a comma. Importing from a file is easy enough to understand, so let's import from a source instead. I've grabbed a nice pulse from channel one, so let's import the on-screen data into the AWG. Let's change the scale of the editor window to check it's all there, and it is, and then press OK. We'll return here shortly. Next, I'm going to connect the WaveGen out BNC on the rear to channel one so that we can check our work. If we begin running the scope again, the pulse appears on screen. We can quickly adjust frequency, amplitude, and offset of the pulse. We can even add Gaussian noise to the signal. These are all useful to see how your device under test would react to a less than ideal input signal, assuming what we captured initially was the ideal signal. Finally, we can use the full editor GUI to make quick adjustments to our signal. We can add, remove, and edit data points in the AWG memory. This could be a useful tool for adding a small glitch, changing the shape of the waveform, or otherwise modifying your arbitrary waveform for further stress testing of your device under test. For more intensive waveform file editing, we recommend modification in Excel or in Benchview's Waveform Builder Pro tool. A link to a blog explaining these methods is in the description. Finally, make sure to check out the rest of the series, highlighting our new capabilities in our next generation platforms, linked in the description below.